19 February 2014, a male terrier cross came in due to lameness today. Okay, what happened to the, the, the dog actually? Uh, this morning he, he couldn't stand up from his hind legs. Yeah, correct. That's all? Yeah, that's all. Yesterday was okay? Yesterday was okay. It was only this morning. On both hind legs? Uh? Yeah, both hind legs. Okay. Eating and drinking? Uh, he hasn't been eating or drinking since morning because he couldn't move. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Yesterday? Yesterday was okay. And the urine and stools, normal yesterday? Normal. It was normal. Normal, mm. okay. So we weigh the dog first. Yeah, sure. Come, we just weigh the dog. So I just put the dog on the rain machine. Then see what's the weight. See what the machine on top. Show the dog. It's about 7 point. It's about 6.8 now. 6.8. Okay, come. Come on. Yeah. 6.8 kg. So I take the temperature now. And this, this is a standard check. Come. Does this dog bite? Uh, hmm. Sometimes. Yeah. So let's get the temperature. Just talk to her. Oh, okay, okay. Like, okay, okay, okay. Doesn't like. But uh, we need to take temperature to see whether it's a fever. Uh, because okay. if we don't take temperature. Okay. Okay. Just talk to her. Just talk to her. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Because oh, okay. we have a muzzle okay. then. Because oh, okay, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So the owner is here, it's okay. okay, okay. Yeah. So I take the temperature to okay. see if there's any fever. Uh, yeah, yeah, come this side close. Okay. Uh, this dog a bit nervous. Okay. Mm. Any vomiting? No. Diarrhea? No, nothing. Temperature 38 is normal. Okay. Very normal. Okay. So is the dog lethargic? Like very sleepy? Uh yeah, recently. No, yesterday and today. Oh yesterday and today. Uh he seems normal actually. Normal. Yeah. Yeah. He received very normal. Um and even when I tried to play with him, uh he wants to play because he couldn't stand up, so yeah. So I go to the history of the dog now. So the history is what happened in the past. Any major operations? Wait, not yet. Any major operations? Uh, like he, stone, right? Yeah, he had one bladder stone, stone operation. At seven years of age. Yeah. Now he's already 15. 15. Uh, okay, seven years and the urine is okay? Uh, yeah, everything is okay after the operation. Now? Uh, now everything is okay as well. Okay, then after that, at the uh, age of 12 years, uh, he had this uh, testicular tumour because this dog was not muted and uh, so it came for the operation in 2011 and as you can see the records it's called scrotal ablation scrotal ablation means take out the whole scrotum and uh, from there we check one of the, the big swollen testes is actually the tumour test, test, testicular tumour which has passed inside because when this tumours are there for a long time some of them becomes the cells die, the cancer cells die and then they become infected. So this whole testicular tumor plus the small one, the normal one, has been removed uh, together with the scrotum because it's stuck to the scrotum. So after that what happened? After the operation it's okay? Yeah, after the operation was okay. So I've not seen a dog since then. Uh, yeah, correct. Because there were no other mm. problems. Huh? Correct. Okay, so this is the my drawing, normally I don't draw as well, but uh, so happened that I draw this to educate the owner. It was quite a unique case, uh, very rare. Not say very rare, but uh, seldom you see an infected tumor of the testes. Uh. Okay, so now I go. Now present day, is that I'm able to stand up? Is it? Can you put the dog down? And let me see, if you can stand up, put on the floor. Okay. okay. We don't finish today. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, see the dog can stand up. You can see by by observation that uh, if he uh, able to uh, you call him and see. Uh, Ruby. So both legs or one leg you see? Yes, both legs. Uh, then uh, you just observe him, especially the hind leg. So let me see. Can I help you understand the by lifting his his uh, belly? You just uh. you just lift up his belly. I'll show how it is. Just lift up on the on see whether he can stand or uh. no. Try again. Oh, his stomach looks swollen. Huh? Okay. And how long did this been going on? This morning only, right? Oh, uh, yeah, just this morning. But the front leg can look at Yeah, the front leg can stand. Oh, yeah, so come up. So, so uh, just put it down. So, now when the dog can't stand, 
normally, normally in many cases it's due to the spinal injury or sleep disease. Huh? So I'm going to test. I'm going to test the spine. And uh, before that, I put the muscle in, in case. Yeah. If I can, right? So I will muscle in. I muscle in first. And uh, it can be quite painful. Is it muscle? Mm -hmm. Among the lower part. Okay, so I muscle in first. That's a precaution. So after that, after that, I will check the spine first. Okay, ready? Just to check first. Now, I lift the dog up a bit. On the chest. I will press here. Not much pain actually. So there is pain now. As you can see, just I notice one leg. One leg is shorter than the other. I don't really notice or not. This right leg is shorter than the other. When I extend the hip, you can see a bit shorter, but not much shorter. But this right leg, a bit shorter. So there may be a hip dislocation. So I turn the dog on this side. So you hold here first. So I'll check the hip. There is pain. Sudden onset. Uh, it happened in one overnight, so he must have jumped down. Okay. And the lead dog, is, he, is he a very active dog? Yeah, he is. So he jumped. He likes to jump up to the sofa. Oh, I see. So he mm. jumped and then he misjudged his mm. landing. Okay, and okay. His TV, he falls onto his, uh, mm. stretches mm. the knee. So he put down on the floor and see, actually, his one leg is worse than the other. The right leg. You see how he sit down? You see how he sit down? He will sit down. Actually, he can. Uh, wait, let me see if he can stand on his left leg. Can you call him and see? Ruby, come. Hey, Ruby. He, he wouldn't even move. Hmm? He, he wouldn't even move. Then, when he just uh, hold him on the chest and see, but then he will stand on his left leg. No. Uh, you see, he can stand on his left leg actually. He just hold up, hold up, hold up, but with his left leg standing, no. Uh, yeah, see, you can stand up. Okay, can come on here. Yeah. Normally, normally the pain is so, so, so severe. So actually this dog, this dog can stand on the left leg, but he doesn't want to stand because it's so painful. The, the possibility is that he might land on both uh, hips spread out, we call it spread out. Mm -hmm. So it's very painful. Okay. So it, it's the only good news is that he doesn't have sleep teeth. Okay. Mm. You see, there's no how much feeling. Normally, when you pinch, you see, when you pinch his toes, huh? normally other dog will scream. Mm. It, there's no much feeling huh? compared to, let's say, I show you the front. Front, you just pinch a bit. And he feels it. So, this one, I will pinch it. 
also not much feeling. Not much feeling. Mm -hmm. So so we can compare to the front. Uh, when 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 the whole when uh, this is this is uh, very good. This one not so good reflect, but that one was good. Mm -hmm. I can still feel it. So the diagnosis is he has injured his back, probably here, probably here, and then uh, when he jump, because the uh, the lifestyle of the dog is very important. So I will, I will do one more check and see. Uh, okay. Oh, there's some pain there. Why oh, there's some pain there? You see that? You see that? Uh, They pass a lot of gas, right? Yeah. Is it a recent thing? Uh, no, not recent. Ah, here there's some pain, but it's not a, it's not a, a very serious pain. So the main thing is my 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 diagnosis is, is I must have spread his hip up when he fell down, mm. and the worst one is the right hand side, left one. So, so the pain is here. Okay. And uh, we will wait for a few days. Okay, stop it.